Prince William and Prince Harry, a complicated relationship over the years. Prince William and Prince Harry have had a rocky relationship since 2016, but they couldn't be on worse terms than they are now, especially with some of the accusations Prince Harry makes in his new tell-all book, Spare. So what is the actual truth? How complicated is Prince William and Prince Harry's relationship? Number 1. The Good Times First things first, while the brothers are currently feuding, they were once inseparable. William is the stoic older brother who likes to keep his emotions under control and always has a smile on his face. Harry is the free spirit who wears his heart on his sleeve. They are polar opposites, yet were very close up until a few years ago. Penny Junor, who wrote two biographies on the royal brothers, talks about their healthy relationship in the new issue of People Royals, saying, Broadly speaking, they've always been very different characters, but very close because of their situation. The fact that their parents' marriage was unhappy, they relied upon each other. These shared early life experiences not only bonded the duo, but forced them to quickly learn their roles in the royal family as indicated by Andrew Morton, who wrote the 1992 biography, Diana, Her True Story. He says, They worked it out while they were schoolboys. William famously said, When I grow up, I want to be a policeman and look after mummy. And Harry, with a note of triumph in his voice, said, No, you've got to be king. It symbolized the difference between them. Inside sources reveal that many assume William is the natural-born leader. However, both brothers were raised with the finest education, money, and privilege can afford, and were always competitive alpha males. William is heir to the throne, but Harry was also considered central to the royal family's future planning. Harry's position was set, a source said at the Queen's Diamond Jubilee in 2012. But then came the controversies, one after another, that truly tested Prince William and Prince Harry's relationship. Number 2. Death of Diana William and Harry were 15 and 12 years old respectively when their mother died in a car accident in 1997 in Paris. Since William was in line for the throne, it's fairly easy to see that he always showed more interest and dedication to the throne than Harry did. This could be one of the reasons for the brothers growing apart. Whether the death of their mother played a part in growing the divide between the brothers, it surely has a key role to play in the dynamics of their relationship. Though they weren't living with Diana at the time of her death, she was still playing a pivotal role in their relationship, keeping them united with her presence and love. But as soon as she died, family politics took center stage. Harry has admitted in interviews since her death that he did not process it in a healthy way. It may be because William seemed to handle his emotions better than his brother or simply kept them hidden better. Since he was the eldest and in line for the throne, he threw himself into his royal duties and seemed to move on more quickly and easily. Many people can agree that growing up as a royal would be a very complicated life full of politics and responsibilities. The fact that William and Harry remained close despite their two distinct ways of dealing with these responsibilities may be due to their blood bond, but was only strengthened with their mother passing away. Harry said during a speech on the 10-year anniversary of Diana's death, William and I can separate life into two parts. There are the years that we were blessed beside us with the physical presence of both our mother and father, and then there are the 10 years since our mother's death. She was our guardian, friend, and protector. She never once allowed her unfaltering love for us to go unspoken or undemonstrated. Behind the media glare, to us, two children, she was quite simply the best mother in the world. Prince Harry even publicly thanked Prince William for helping him with his mental health struggles. The younger prince has been very open in recent years with his mental health journey, specifically in regards to handling the loss of his mother. My brother, you know, bless him. He was a huge support for me. He kept saying, this is not right. This is not normal. You need to talk to someone about stuff. It's okay. Harry told The Telegraph back in April of 2017. I can safely say that losing my mom at the age of 12 and therefore shutting down all of my emotions for the last 20 years has had a quite serious effect on not only my personal life, but my work as well. When Princess Kate emerged on the scene, she, Prince William, and Prince Harry became a trio. 
Harry seemed to enjoy attending royal engagements alongside William and Kate. The trio even launched their Heads Together campaign to help eliminate the stigma surrounding mental health. But this was just a chapter in a much more complicated book. Number 3. Harry Would Never Be King Another factor that contributes to Prince William and Prince Harry's complicated relationship is the throne. It's not a new theory when it comes to royal families. It suggests a feud because William is heir to the throne and Harry is not. This is also one of the reasons that the two brothers never enjoyed a comfortable relationship or a bond that normal brothers would share. When they were children, the two were as close as any brothers could be. But as they grew up, the weight of the responsibility Prince William was facing as heir to the throne was unignorable. Prince Harry knew from the beginning that his older brother would someday become king and that he himself would never achieve that status. In fact, according to Robert Lacey's Battle of Brothers book, which came out in October 2020, Harry was aware of William's future as king at a very young age. Ken Worf, who was the bodyguard to Diana and the two boys in the late 1980s, shared a memory he had when the family was traveling from London to Highgrove for the weekend. According to Worf, Harry and his brother got into an argument in the back seat of the car. Four-year-old Harry said, You'll be king one day. I won't, so I can do what I want. And Diana asked, Where the hell did he get that from? Number 4. Harry and Meghan Getting Together And then came the life-changing event in 2016 when Harry decided to date American actress Meghan Markle. Many attribute the rift between Prince William and Prince Harry to this occasion. William did not have the kindest reaction to Harry finding love. His unhappiness with Harry's new relationship may have had something to do with Meghan being an actress, a non-royal, or simply someone he deemed unworthy of his brother. Either way, instead of celebrating his brother's happiness, he questioned Harry's relationship with Meghan. In fact, some inside sources reveal that William even spoke to his younger brother to express his concerns and blatant disapproval of the relationship. When William felt that Harry wasn't listening to him, he decided to involve Princess Diana's brother, Charles Spencer, in the matter. According to many reports, this hurt their relationship quite a bit. The result of the Spencer intervention was an even more bitter explosion. Once again, Harry refused to slow down. He didn't blame his uncle. He understood why Diana's brother should want to help. Yet, he was furious with his elder brother for dragging other family members into the row. Harry was taken aback by how much William was against his new relationship. Critics of William's behavior compared this to Harry's reaction to William and Kate's relationship. Harry stood right by his brother's side at the wedding to Kate and nearly stole the show by whispering, wait till you see her, to his brother before Kate walked down the aisle. Harry reportedly gushed about the couple during his speech, calling William the perfect brother and revealing that he loved the Duchess like a sister. Reports say that while William did serve as Harry's best man when he married Meghan at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle in May 2018, and even threw his brother a bachelor party, he did not approve of the wedding. That brings us to another major event that contributed to the growing rift between Prince William and Prince Harry. Number 5. The Exit Things took a more serious turn in 2018 when the feud between the royal brothers started making headlines. Harry and his wife Meghan Markle opted to move from Nottingham Cottage in London to Frogmore Cottage in Windsor because they decided they didn't want to raise their kids in the spotlight. The move hastened the brothers' decision to go their separate ways. Morton said, It was always the case that when Prince Harry married, he would have his own household and his own home. It's traditional that when you marry, you get your own place and have your own household with your own private secretary, equerry, and other court functionaries. The brothers are very, very close. They're also very competitive and always have been. News outlets once again picked up on a rift in 2019 after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex split their royal charity from the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. The royal foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex has today announced the conclusion of a review into its structure and how it will best support their royal highnesses with future charitable activity. 
The statement to U.S. Weekly read, Later this year, the Royal Foundation will become the principal charitable and philanthropic vehicle for the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will establish their own new charitable foundation with transitional operating support from the Royal Foundation. After this move, many said that the brothers were still on good terms, including Princess Diana's biographer, Andrew Morton, in the November 2019 edition of Royals Monthly. Later, Harry confirmed that he and William had a falling out during the ITV documentary, Harry and Meghan, An African Journey, revealing he and his brother have good days and bad days. He said, part of this role and part of this job, this family, being under the pressure that it's under, inevitably, stuff happens. But look, we're brothers. We'll always be brothers. We're certainly on different paths at the moment, but I'll always be here for him, and I know he'll always be there for me. Harry added, we don't see each other as much as we used to because we're so busy, but I love him dearly. A source confirmed to U.S. Weekly that the princes have grown apart over the years. William still cares about Harry and is hoping that he'll open up to him about his current struggles. The source said in October 2019, William wants to be there for Harry and hates seeing him in such a bad place. A month later, another insider revealed that things are not great between William and Harry. They both need to put in the effort to rebuild their relationship, the insider said in November of 2019. He doesn't envy the responsibility that comes with being the future King of England, but William's the golden boy, and Harry feels he's got a lot to live up to. News broke in January 2020 that Harry and Meghan were stepping back from their senior royal duties, something that was made permanent in February 2021. It gave the couple a huge platform to open up about their choice for the first time in March 2021 during a tell-all interview on CBS. I was trapped, but I didn't know I was trapped, Harry said, trapped within the system like the rest of the family. My father, King Charles III, and my brother are trapped. They don't get to leave, and I have huge compassion for that. In addition to confirming he and William were still struggling, Harry noted that he wasn't on great terms with his dad. Said Harry, who noted his family didn't denounce the racism directed at Meghan over the years. I feel really let down because he's been through something similar. He knows what pain feels like. I will always love him, but there's a lot of hurt that's happened. I will continue to make it one of my priorities to try to heal that relationship, but they only know what they know. And though many suggest that Harry was the victim, others suggest that announcing the separation the day before Kate Middleton's 38th birthday rubbed salt into the wounds. It's sad because when they were younger, William would be the first person Harry would go to with big news like this. A source said about Harry blindsiding his brother, William is incredibly hurt, but at the same time, he has his own family to focus on and is trying to move forward with his life. Number 6. The Book Finding Freedom Just when things were starting to die down, another huge issue emerged when the book Finding Freedom, Harry and Meghan, and the Making of a Modern Royal Family came out. The book succeeded in bringing back all of the drama from the past couple of years, specifically involving William's thoughts on Harry and Meghan Markle's relationship, once again pitting the brothers against each other. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were quick to deny any involvement with the book, but Prince William didn't take it that way, and many news channels and reports didn't do justice when presenting the real sentiments of Prince Harry on the book, which added fuel to the fire. William took it as a calculated move to control the public narrative of their feud and the royal family, and believed that Harry was behind it. Number 7. Netflix docuseries of Harry and Meghan If there was anything the public didn't already know about the relationship between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, they probably learned it when the Netflix series The Royals came out. In the series, Prince Harry made further critical allegations of gaslighting and bullying against the royal family. He also talked about his relationship with his brother, revealing that they've hardly spoken to each other in two years and have only seen each other at a handful of events. The docuseries certainly proved a critical step in further complicating the relationship. There's another wave of controversy that suggests that the rift initially began between Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle but royal filmmaker Nick Bullen refuted those claims. 
All brothers fall out. All families fall out. Their fallout at the moment is becoming public, he told Fox News. People want to imagine the brothers as very close but they're two grown men in their 30s, starting their own families, different wives. They're moving to different parts of the country, different duties. This marks the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to get notifications on all our videos. See you in the next one.